authored or author? Sorry. Author. With D. Only author. O F F E R. Okay. What about now? Can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Don't upset me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's been a very difficult day, I see. Um, I'm sorry again, guys. My computer took me out. I don't know what it's happening. I apologize once again. Um, let me just uh, finish welcoming some of you because um, I haven't seen you in a while. So I want to hear about Jose Mario. How are you doing tonight, Jose Mario? Are we ready for the class? Yeah, teacher. Good evening, everyone. I'm what's, ready. What's new with you? Um, well, it's something nice and go visit the, I will visit a, a, a bank and it's a, for a, a, for document, for, for document and it's, it's very well day. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad to hear that. Let me also welcome to another student. Uh, let's hear a lady. Why don't we say hello to uh, Miss Miss um, Sabrina? Tell me, Miss Sabrina, anything new tonight? How was the weekend? Long weekend with no English class yesterday, huh? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, something new. Well, mm -hmm. I, I know. Today in my homework, they told me that on December, I'm going to have one week of vacation. And one week, just the last great. week of the last week of the year. Yes, because I have never had um, a week for 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 vacation because i always had um 25 and 26 and mm -hmm. 30, 30, 31 in the first mm -hmm. and today they are going to give me the the complete week oh, that's, so I'm amazing. Happy for that. that's amazing <laughs> it's good to spend time with your family in christmas you know yes sometimes yes, I, I'm going to 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 stay. I'm going to be with my best friend all the week. Sometimes we are absorbed by our work. Teacher, and do you know who is my best friend? My bed. I'm going to sleep all the week. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who is your best friend? <laughs> my bed. My bed oh. is my best friend. I'm going to stay with her all the week. That's... And I'm going to sleep all the week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good to know. Good plan. Good plan. Hey, let me say hello to Jose Rene Aguirre. How's it going, Mr. Rene? Are we ready to practice your English tonight? Hello. Yes, I'm ready. But as always, tired. As always, and, tired, huh? Yeah. You had a busy day today, sir? And, and it's good that you are well. Oh, I appreciate that a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me then um, go over the attendance now so we can get started with our English class tonight. Thank you guys for all your patience. Let me then call some of the ones that are here on the list, starting with Lady Carolina Ventura Valdez. Are you there? Yes, I am. Hey, lady, what's new? Are you ready for the class? Yes, teacher. Ready. Awesome. Okay. Angel Antonio Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. Great. Um, Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Carmen Eugenia Tremino Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Present teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present. Thank you. Estela Mabel Orellana Andino. Present, teacher. Already. Jacqueline Yesenia Miranda Rodríguez. Present. 
Okay. Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortez. Present. All right, Jaime. Jose Antonio Valdez Gomez. Here, teacher, Jose Mario Valdez. Jose Mario Valdez Gomez, yes. And Jose René Aguirre Chavarria. Present. Okay, Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Catherine Lisset Caceres Montesino. Present, mister. Julio, are you there also? Yeah, teacher. All right, where have you been? Are you okay? Okay. All right, all right. Kathy Denise Soriano Villacorta. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. Okay, Manuel Osbin eh, Alexis Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. And Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. All right. Thanks. Okay, perfect. Now we're ready to start. Um, let me show you something because I think that I need to check. I need to check something with you real quick. Let's see. Here it is. Here it is. Let me share with you something. I'm gonna, let me know if you're able to visualize my screen, please. Bless you. Bless you to whoever is sneezing right now. Are you able to see my screen now? Now, oh, yes. 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 Okay, we didn't see this topic, correct? Yes. We did or we didn't? Oh, we didn't. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so... We did. We did? Yes, we did. About the causative verbs, right? Yes. Did you okay okay perfect perfect I was a little I was a little confused about you and other class that I have okay great so we did see this one in that case we can go over here right let me see we have a chat someone is chatting thanks so much Daniel Archimedes okay so teacher no I'm sorry no no it's, it's the same it's the same that another page no okay. it's the same this this no I'm we, sorry. Okay, okay. No, no worries. No worries. Thank you for correcting. I was like, okay, in that case, we saw it. But yeah, I, I was kind of confused about that. Uh, we're going to watch a video first, okay? We're going to watch a video first. And the video is going to be about um, three verbs. O on the book, we're going to study only uh, the verb, the verb let and the verb help, okay? But uh, the video talks about three verbs, make, let, and help. Sometimes, sometimes could be uh, confusing uh, their context, their usage. So we're going to reinforce that tonight. Let me send you a link so you can watch this video. This is only six minutes. This is only six minutes. I, I need you to repeat what they say. I need you to see any kind of new structure. And then you're going to talk, you're going to discuss after the video, okay? So I'm gonna give you six minutes to watch it. Actually seven minutes, I'm gonna give you seven minutes, one extra minute to prepare your ideas. All right, let's go watch it now. Seven minutes. Teacher, the video we you watched we it? saw. Yes, we watched. Okay, perfect. In that case, can you give me your opinion about the video? Um, about the when we use two uh, 
uh, with use help and then to or is correct use to or not use to you mean when you use help yes um remember i remember that? go ahead i remember the last class uh you a clear a clear a clear un poco de eso okay 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 let's let's discuss first of all on the video uh, first of all make the verb make what is it used for but you can use a uh, make after make is a a person i think and after is the verb but it's not in infinitive it's just without two And you just make when you uh, mandatory to someone, or when you demand something, or when someone, you command something. Mm -hmm. Yes, or someone do it for with you. Okay, okay, sounds pretty interesting. Is when you when you make someone do something, right? So can you give an example of, of um, using make? For example, the teacher on the video, the teacher on the video, he was explaining that different relationships, for example, he had a boss, he had a parent, he had a teacher. So for the boss, what, what makes the boss do the employee so the employees gotta do something right so the boss demands something for him to do for example for example your boss yes. what does your boss make you to do his boss makes him come to work at 7 a.m what about your boss daniel what does your boss make you to do in this last today i <laughs> My boss makes uh, her come to work at 8 a.m. Okay, put your and ideas together. Is... Put your ideas together, right? In these past two days, uh, what tense are, we, are, are you going to use? Are you going to use simple present, simple past? So you can use make, you're going to say make, you're going to say makes in third person, or you're going to say made in simple past. Prepare your ideas, prepare your ideas. Tell me what your boss makes you to do, volunteer. For example, my boss, my boss makes me teach English to all basic level and sometimes intermediate level. <laughs> yes, and my boss um, makes me to do the report for the meeting. Now, makes me to do oh, yes. or makes me do? What do you think, makes guys? Me, makes me do because it's with use a verb make, you don't use to. No preposition to. What about you, uh, Manuel? What does your boss make you to do? Do you have a boss? Open your mic. Oh, sorry. No, I don't have a boss. I don't have a boss. My boss is me. <laughs> myself. <laughs> myself. Myself. So, sorry. Oh, it's that's myself. great. That's great. <laughs> but but uh, when I I was working, is only is advisor of different company. And today, um, what the the company where 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 we'll work uh, next Friday. I plan, I plan the carnival and the, the, the... We're trying to make examples. We're going, we're trying to say example using make. Okay, using make, okay. Okay, uh, so if you don't have a boss, okay, then yeah. you, do have, you do have a team under your charge, right? Yeah, so yeah. you make uh -huh. other people do something. Can you tell us yeah. a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I tell, uh, I tell my my assistant is make me make me make me prepare. Can me prepare? See, 
No, I don't know. Mate, no, mate, es pasado. Sorry. Put your ideas together. You know what? I need to have a conversation with you, with all of you, and I need to use make, and I need ah. to use um, the other verbs uh, let, and I need to use the verb help. Estela said that you watch it already, you all watch it already, but you don't have your ideas together, not all of you. So I'm gonna give you seven minutes for you to watch it again, watch it again, put your ideas okay. together, and then we're going to have a talk. This is for all of you. This is for all of you, okay? So let's do it once again. I'll give you seven minutes starting now. Let's go. Okay. 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 His boss make him come to work at seven. Yeah. Mother makes her kid clean the house. Let permission.
Sports. Smile. Smile. Let's be a little Smile. The teacher doesn't let that. All right, people. I want you to give me one example using make, one example using let, and one example using um, let. Wait, it's uh, make, let, and help. Three verbs. I want you to prepare three examples using them. Remember, in none of them, Daniel and class, in none of them is necessary for you to use the preposition to. It's not necessary, okay? Um, if you like, before you start making your examples, we can say some examples, yeah? Let's start with make. Let's start with make. Can you tell me what does your boss make you to do at work or make you do, I'm sorry, make you do at work? Do we have any volunteer? Or what does your parent, what does your parent at home make you do? Um, My boss make me, makes me read all the manuals when he buys a new equipment for the clinics. He makes me read. All the, the information. Wonderful example, Sabrina. Thank you. Angel, do, do you have something to say? Yes. My mom makes me go for tortillas. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Somebody else. Make it interesting. Make it fun. Me, teacher. Proceed. Uh, the, the mother makes her kids clean the, the house. Okay, your your mother makes you makes her clean the house. Oh, okay. His mother makes him clean the house. The house. Yes. Correct. That's a good yeah. example. Thank you, Julio. Somebody okay. else. My mother makes me wash the dishes. The dishes. Okay. Do you do you make someone do something, Jose? What do you make me? Do, do you make someone do something for you? Question for you guys, for all of you. Do you make someone do something for you? Give me an answer. Come on, give me an answer. Raise your hand. Do you make someone do something for you? I make my father wake me up if i am if he's late if you're still sleeping and he's late 
he wakes me up in the morning. Wonderful, wonderful. So uh, the night before you tell your dad, dad, wake me up just in case. So you make your dad wake you up in the morning. Outstanding example, Ms. Garcia. Somebody else? I make my daughter do her homework. By herself or, or do you help her? Uh, by herself. Wonderful. By herself, right? Now they have also internet access so they can search, they can investigate anything, right? Good job. Good example. Somebody else? Does your boss make you wear uniform, guys? Yes, my boss makes I use the uniform. Makes makes me makes me makes me uniform. Makes me wear. Where is the second verb? Okay. Makes okay. me wear. Okay, no more examples. I didn't hear Daniel. Archimedes this time, I didn't hear Mario, I didn't hear Osbin. I'm waiting for your example using make. If someone makes you do, do something for somebody else, or if you do, if you actually, you are the one who makes someone do something for you. Me teacher. Go ahead. Uh, my boss makes me do cafe reports with social media metrics. With social, say social, social media, social, social media. media. That's nice. Good example, Carmen. Somebody else? My hey. father makes me read the newspaper with him. <laughs> me, me teacher. Go ahead, Escamilla. Uh, my wife, my wife make me to go to the market every week. Who is it necessary to? No, no. I don't. I, no, <laughs> is that necessary? And also, no. if it's your wife, remember, wife is third person. You say makes my wife makes makes make, me. Make, makes me. <laughs> say that again. Uh, my wife make me go to go to makes me makes me go to the market every week. Okay, go to the market every week. Yeah. You say mute. Okay, me. Okay, Daniel. Maybe me? <laughs> yes. And then me. <laughs> okay, okay, you me. My sister made me buy a lot of things at the market on Saturday. Mr. Caleb, we are mute, teacher. No, it's a mute, but no sound. Yeah, we don't listen. You. Uh -huh. But it's a mute. It's disconnected. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Ah, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, right now. Okay, Danny, you say my sister, you say my sister, right? My sister, yeah. so you say make my sister me. make me or my sister makes me? makes me buy makes me buy a lot of things mm -hmm. things at the market correct correct don't forget the letter s pronunciation in third person simple present go ahead lady okay my husband gets his clothes um iron every week did you say gets or makes Get. Oh, okay. My husband gets, gets. His clothes for to iron. For ironing. For, for ironing. Iron. Mm, okay, but that example you're using get. Right now, what we're doing, lady, is that we're using make. For example, okay. my husband makes me take 
his clothes for ironing. Okay. All right. So my brother makes me play the guitar for all the family in every uh, birthday celebration. Yes? Try to give it try to give it in simple pass. Prepare me an example in simple pass using make. Using make something that happened yesterday, something that happened this week. Something that someone made you do. Something that someone made you do. Yeah? Like for example my father, my father made me go with him made me go with him to Chalchuapa last weekend. Teacher. Yes. Um, um, uh, make is similar uh, as, as the authority. Yes, yes, yeah. it's an authority, yes. The first person is the authority. The, por the person has the authority. The authority, yes, oh. like the teacher, like the boss, like yes. the father, like the mother. Like the, like, yes, like the boss. Yeah. Like the president. The president makes us pay taxes, yes? Okay. The president. <laughs> it means no, no, in simple pass, in simple the pass, bitcoin. guys, in simple pass, come on. In simple pass. Uh, it's similar, teacher. It's similar. Este, um, uh, you you permit uh, or make um, it, I I am use um, my phone in the class. So the teacher made the students use their phones in class. In, in class, yeah made or didn't make i will leave, i will i will prefer didn't make 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 didn't allow the teacher didn't make the students use their phones in class no because it's not it's not permitted the teacher i can say i can say my sister made me do the dishes yesterday. Yes, outstanding, outstanding. <laughs> My grandmother made me stay with her for like two hours because she wanted to have a conversation. So <laughs> she made me stay with her. Yes, my... Sorry, who, has sorry. who has it? Okay, go with Manu first and then with Angel, perhaps. Go ahead. Manu. Okay. Uh, my my best friend made me wear the super the superman suit and the party um last Saturday. Excellent. The Superman suit. Superman suit. <laughs> nice okay. job. In simple pass, in simple pass. Good job. Good job, Manuel. <laughs> Next, next, next. Thank you. In simple pass. Okay, okay, okay. No more. Let's go with examples with let. What is let for? Let. Is let for authority? For permission. Is for, for permission, permission to the, to the authority. Is for permission, is for you to ask permission, provide permission by the authority. Yes, yes. Do we need to use the preposition to? No. No, Isn't, is that no. necessary? Yes. Great, for great, great. Who has examples for me? Who has examples for me? I can say, my boss, let me try to do the report. Yes, yes, absolutely. And a top secret. My boss lets me use his Wi-Fi connection. That's just as an example. Um, my father lets me use his car on weekends. It's like a permission that I get. Yes? Or you can give a permission. I let, I let, right? 
I let my students speak only in English during the classes. You know that. <laughs> me, teacher. Go ahead. My boss let me day off on Friday at 12 p.m. Wait, wait, wait. Repeat, repeat, repeat. My boss let me day off on Friday at 12 p.m. Okay, okay. Let me, let me have. Your boss let you let you have a day off. Uh, fifty percent. Fifty percent. Oh, like like half of the day off. Like half exactly. Medio día libre. Exactly. Half of my of the day off. Repeat the example. My boss. My boss. My boss. Let me day off. Let me have. Friday. Remember that let you need have. a secondary verb. The principal verb okay. is let. So you need a secondary verb. Let me. He let me have. He let me have day off. Correct. Correct. Next, please. Good job, Jose. Thank you. Next, please. Let me. I let my, my daughter my watch the tablet. That is correct, Estela. You authorize, you give permission to your daughter with the simple verb, let. Three-letter verb, very easy. So you let your daughter use the tablet, watch videos on the tablet. That's great. Who else has an example? Me. I let my nephew to play with to play my guitar. Now, do we need to use the preposition to? No. It's not necessary, Daniel. Can you repeat it with no preposition to? Okay. I let my nephew play the guitar. Bingo, bingo, bingo. That's it. That's it. Somebody else, okay. please. Thank you, Danny. Somebody okay. else. Let, let, let. I let my students participate. I let my students be the actors and actresses all the time. Me, teacher. Proceed. My boss lets me come to my house for lunch. Oh, that's awesome. Jose, a special congratulations for pronouncing the third person very clear, clear as horchata. No, I'm just kidding. Clear oh. as crystal water, man. Good job. Aunque parezca pequeño el verbo, right? Let, let's. Third person, let's. Put the letter S as Carlos does. Good job. Good job. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with the next verb. The next verb is the verb uh, help. Help. Okay. Help. What can you say with the verb help? <clears throat> my example, I help my mother cook the dinner. Cook dinner. Cook dinner, okay. Can you repeat the example? That's a good example, please. I help my mother cook dinner. Wonderful. I help my mother cook dinner. Yeah, good job. Remember, I help and then you need a person. My mother, my brother, him, her, us, you, right? And then you need the secondary verb. Somebody has an example for us. Come on, participation, guys. Richard, he, he helped Help him in move the couch. He help him move the? In the move the couch. The couch. Oh. The couch. couch. Yes, yes, the sofa. Yes, yes. he help him move the couch. Yes. He help him move the couch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else? Do you have an example? Me, teacher. Go ahead, um, Carmen. My brother told me to help him with his homework. Okay, my brother told me to help him with his homework. Yes, 
help him with his homework. That is somewhat correct, Carmen. That is somewhat correct. Uh, for you to complete the structure, you need a secondary verb after, after help. Yeah? My brother told me, or my brother asked me to help him, help him. What other verb can you use? Help him. The homework. Help him. What? Uh, help him with his homework? No, because you need a secondary verb. Help is the principal verb. After help, you, you have the Do the homework? Help him do the homework? Correct. That's an option. Help him do his homework. Help him, help him complete his homework. Help him resolve his homework. So you need a secondary verb after help. Is that is that clear? Teacher. Yes. Just a question. And when we use um, help, but I don't know also with make and let, and we don't we use him, his, us. The object pronoun. The object, Correct. The object pronoun. Correct. Oh, okay. That's the person you're gonna use after the verb help and after the person after the object pronoun like sabrina said me you uh, him her us them you need the secondary verb okay okay it's like uh, my father helped me move the closet correct my mother helped me understand my problems Secondary verb, that's, a, that's intermediate English level, guys. Congratulations. Uh, I have a challenge for you. I have a challenge for you. You have prepared me three examples, right? You have prepared me one example uh, with the verb make, one example with the verb let, and one example with the verb help. Yes? So you have three examples for me. Yes or no? Okay, so what I want now is that I want you to to say those examples all together. I want you to try to say all those examples all together at once. Blah, 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 blah. You shoot the first verb with, uh, you shoot the first example with make, and then you shoot the second example with let, and then you shoot the next example with help. Um, can you try? Can you try to practice saying the three examples nonstop, naturally, efficiently, uh, with your best pronunciation. Remember that the letter S in the third person, simple present, is important to pronounce it. Okay? So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you five minutes. I'm gonna give you five minutes so you can practice speaking orally, uh, repeating the three examples. Your example with make, your example with let, and your example with help. I need the three examples all together. Do you understand? Okay. Thank you. You challenge. Okay, you accept the challenge. I'll give you yeah. five minutes. Practice all the three examples. Five minutes, and then you say them. I'll give you five minutes right now. Practice them, repeat them, pronounce them. Let's go.
time is up. Can you hear me? Can we start? Yes. Let's start with Estela. Are you ready? Let's do it. Yes, Three examples yes. all at once. Let's go. Okay. My boss makes me correct a report. And I let my coworker help me. Uh, my partner helps me do it. Wonderful, Joe. Give it up for you. All the examples connected and with a lot of logic. With a lot of logic. Congratulations. Let me hear Jose Aguirre. Let's do it. My father makes me fix his laptop. My girlfriend lets me go out sometime with my <laughs> friends <laughs> without disturbing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my sister helped her friend make, make a cake. Outstanding examples, Aguirre. Congratulations, special congrats. Give it up, give it up for you. Can we try Mr. <laughs> Archimedes Florentino? Are you ready? Yes, but my sentence don't connect between they. But I will say, uh, his brother makes him buy a new car because his price is reasonable. Yes. My mother let me watch TV until midnight. Let or let's? Let's. Let's, let's, let's me. My mother lets me watch TV until midnight. Correct. Our co-workers help me develop new products. Wonderful job, uh, uh, Daniel. As long as you understand the structure, it's all right. It's all right. I appreciate it. You did good. You did good. Okay, thank you. Let me go with Carmen. You ready, Carmen? Three examples. Let's do it. I don't understand that. Oh, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> We're saying the three examples. We're saying the three examples using make, using let, and using help. Listen to your classmates, okay, Carmen? Let me okay. go with um, Sabrina. Are you ready? Three examples now. Yes, number one, my brother makes me go to the park on weekend. Number two and three, I let my nephew use uh, my cell phone only if he helps me wash the dishes after the dinner. Wow, conditionings. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Do you have, that's it? Okay. Let's go with Angel. What you got, Angel Benitez? Three examples now. Okay. My supervisor, my supervisor makes me reround the database due to an error. Due to an error. Due to yes, an error. Due to an error. My grandma lets me watch TV after do the homework. After doing. Doing the homework. Yes. My girlfriend helped me prepare the surprise for my mother's birthday. Fabulous example. A special congratulations. Just one or two observations. Take note of that. You're rock and rolling. Let me go with Jose Valdez. What you got? Three examples, okay. three examples. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My wife make me to do her laundry every Saturday. Make or My... makes? Makes. Do or to do? To do. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Yeah. No to, no, no to. No, Start no, over. Start don't, over. Don't use. My wife. My wife may, me, make makes me. me. Ma makes me. I make, you make, but but she, she makes you, right? Makes me have to do? No. Have to? Makes me? Have to her laundry. 
makes me do the laundry. My wife oh. makes me do, do the laundry. The laundry every mm -hmm. Saturday. Do the laundry. Yes. Next. Do the okay. Do the laundry. And next is my son helping me him use the washer. Can you repeat? My son helping me him use the washer. Mm. I hear two different object pronouns. My son help me help. or help him? Help him. Help me. Help me. Okay. My son help me. Help me use the washer. Use the washer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you have something with let, Jose? Let? And my boss let me have a student English during my working hours. Okay, my, my boss let me or my boss lets me? Lets me. Yes, yes. I let you. Lets me. You let me. He lets you. She lets you. Thank you. Let's go with Lady Ventura. Go ahead. Three examples. Okay. My mom makes me to be on time when we will go out. Do we need the preposition to, Miss Lady? No. Oh, yes. My mom makes me be on time when we will go out. It sounds fabulous. Okay. And I don't let my kids watch violent movies. Excellent. I don't let my kids watch violent movies. Practice that yeah. repeating, 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 repeating in your house many times, okay? Okay, and the last one is I help my mom carry the boxes. Oh, wonderful. Good job, lady. Good job. Do we have Julio already? July. Yeah, yeah, ready. Shoot it, shoot it. Okay. Um, my boss makes us go out to the beer early. My and boss makes sell. us go out early. To okay. As to sell, to sell, to sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but is but it lets us to leave it, leave it, leave it. The all right. The area. The area. The area. The area. Early. All right. Um, he he helped us with transportation. All right, perfect, Julio. Thank you so much. Okay. Do we have? Uh, let me see who else. Daniel is finished. Manuel is finished. Osbin, are you ready? Osbin Flores. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> and my wife makes me wash the dishes. My boss lets me take a rest. Mm -hmm. My boss helps them with the homework. All right, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and close the participation now. Thank you for all the ones who really have active participation. Remember that one of the requirements of this program is for you to have your camera and for you to have active participation. You have to participate in the class. Regardless, if you don't participate in the class, then you are not performing, okay? Um, so let's go over the grammar part, how to use causative verbs. Causative verbs is because uh, you cause someone to do something, something, something that you need, right? Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises. We have help plus someone plus base form of a verb infinitive. Okay, can you read this information? Let me see who I have here. Can you read this information for me, Manuel Escamilla? Do you see it? Yes? So, sorry, teacher. <laughs> I, I... Are you with us? <laughs> please please repeat yes 
We're looking at guess... help plus someone plus base form of the verb. For example, I help my dad clean the house. So can you read this information for us? Okay. The training hut, the training hut, a small business owner replicate the, su the success of big brand. A marketing, a marketing expert could help you to understand the basic principle principles of branding. Yes, a marketing expert could help you to understand. It, help is a little different, remember, because help, you have the option, is optional. Using help, you can use two. Some people use two, but it sounds better not to use, not using the preposition to. We recommend you not to use it. It's more simple. It's simpler. Oh, only, um, only use and, and help is the they use the preposition the preposition to. We don't use the preposition to with let or make. Okay, it don't use the preposition to and, and make and let, but the help is, is optional. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can okay. say a marketing expert could help you to understand, or you can say a, a marketing expert could help you understand. Could you help? Both are correct. Look at here. The training uh -huh. helps small businesses replicate. So helps a small business replicate. So we're not using the preposition to in this one. There's no preposition to. But in this one, yes. So that means it's optional. Okay. Let's go with okay. let. Let someone plus base form of the verb. And the person that's going to help us reading is Sabrina. Go ahead. Let some companies let clients go through the service. Service. Or service. Service. And the Service. pronunciation of this uh, preposition is through. Everybody repeat through. 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 Okay. through. through. Some through. companies let clients go through a survive service. Service. Service trial before they decide to purchase. Yes. An effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their products. That is correct. An effective brand lets people explore. Some companies let clients go, go through, pasar a través, right? And how do you pronounce this? Service. Service. Okay, let's go ahead and use the verse in parentheses to complete the sentences. Remember, when it's third person, you need to modify the verb, right? When it's third person, you need to put it in third person with S or ES or IES. Can you complete this exercise, please, on your notebooks? Yes? Yes, can you complete it now on your notebooks, please? Or on your notepads, I don't know what you're using. I think we already did it. You already did it? Can you give me the answers? Sabrina, can you give me number one? Think about, number one, think about how your business helps your customers satisfy their needs. Okay, let's just polish here, satisfy. Repeat, satisfy. 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 Excellent, excellent. Let's go with Jaime Avalar. Can you help us, Jaime, with number two? All right, thank you. Um, Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Investor won't let companies develop without a plan to improve business brands. Mm, let's repeat investors. Investors. Okay, repeat plan without, without a plan. Without a plan. Excellent, excellent. That is correct. Yes, let will go normal because investors is plural. So investors won't let companies without a plan to improve their brand. 
comments. Thank you for that participation. Let's go with Jose Mario. Help us with number three, please. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Let's go sorry, with... sorry. Oh, I, you I there? Ain't... You there? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. The plants. Number three. The, yeah, the plants help employees become part of the brand. Okay, so you said the plan, the plan, the plan help employees help employees become part Helps of the brand. Or help. Help. No es. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you pronounce helps. Okay. Help. Helps. helps. Okay. Help. The plan. The plan help employees. Helps. Third person, the sir. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The plan helps employees become part of the brand. Correct, correct. Watch the third person uh, pronunciation. Let's go with, let me see who else that I have. I have so many people. Let's go with Luis Galicia. Help us, Luis Galicia, with number four. Thank you. Well, Hi, teacher. Sorry. Are you there? Uh, what is uh, <laughs> number four? No, not really. Yes. I'm working actually. Great. And uh, okay, being specific about a business brand, lets customers identify our product easily. Wow, 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 wow. wow. You got great pronunciation. Good job. Thank you, sir. Okay. Why don't we go with the next participant? That's gonna be let me see, Kathy Montesino. Are you ready, Miss Kathy? Number five. Volunteers, do we have a volunteer now? Me teacher. Go ahead, Angel. Okay, number five. Branding. Let the customer add a perceived value to the product. Uh, value. Value, I'm sorry. Okay, value. And let me check this one. I want to check this one. Do you remember this one? Let me just check. Right pronunciation. This is a, this is a regular verb, isn't it? Yes. Okay. The verb perceived is perceived or per uh, what is the, the correct pronoun? Perceived. Perceived with the D. D sound at the M. Yes, sir. Perceived. Can we repeat Perce that one more time? Let me just share, 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 share. Perceived the value to the product. Value. Value. Uh, perceived Branding. the value to the product. Repeat again. Branding. Branding, let the customer. Let or let's? Let. Oh, let the customer. Let the customer add a perceived value to the product. That's the pronunciation, sir. Good job. Good job. Okay. This is the exercise that is pending, right? How do you design a checklist of the steps to define the brand of a product? Read the basic checklist below and discuss it with the partner. Um, we're going to we're gonna um, take some time to read it, okay? And you tell, you discuss, what do you think? What's your opinion? It says, is your brand strong enough to give you the internal and external value that you need in your marketing? Check yes or no. Just check yes or no. Give your own, give your own thoughts. Let's just start with Estella. Can you read number one? Okay. Uh, is your brand strong enough to give you the internal and external value? that you need in your marketing check 
yes or no for the following descriptor. Uh huh. What's number one? Read it. Could you read number one, please? Um, I Stella? think yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much thought. So your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much thought. What do you think? Is a yes or no? I think it's yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Why do you think yes? Uh, because the brand is related to the maybe because if you have a, a product in or maybe your brand mm -hmm. uh, you want to sell something but the the your client or the audience want okay 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 does anybody have a different thoughts or a different opinion to share yes the 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 con the consumer she uh, the product and in instant and say um, oh my god is it good bro products um, all right the, the client conoce mm -hmm. conoce como es what 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 say conoce teacher no no, no I that's no, no, too proud of this. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go over number two. Uh, Daniel, can you help us with number two? Me? Yeah. Okay. Your brand shares the unique uniqueness of bra what you offer and why it's important. Okay, your brand shares shares, shares the uniqueness. 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 What is uniqueness? Something very special. Yeah? Yes. Your brand shares the uniqueness of what you offer and why is it important? Is it yes or no for you and why? For me, it's yes. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Yes, but don't don't only tell me yes. You need to tell me why. Why do you say yes? You need you need the explanation why. Yes, I absolutely need it. Okay. Uh, I think that if I sh I offer uh, my you my product that uh, that for me is important to sell. I think my products could be or should be a very special uh, for a specific, uh, uh, let me see, a specific action. I don't, I don't know. Like this, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. for is for it is important to have a, a a strong brand. I think it's gotta be unique. Yeah. It's gotta be a special. Go ahead. Yeah. It's important that we have um, a special ingredient to our special service mm -hmm. with something special that makes the people think in thinking of. And th that will be the person, will the person prefer us. It's important to have something different. It's important to have something personalized, different than other companies. It's important to be unique, to have uniqueness. Yes. Good job, guys. Let's go to oven number three. Katie Montesino, can you help me with number three, please? Yeah. Um, the brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. The brand reflects the promise, a promise that you're making to yes. who you're targeting. A brand reflects a promise. Uh, is it yes or no? 
Yes. What do you think? Yeah, the for me, brand it's the gym. Reflects. Why do you think so, lady? Because um, it's the thing that you like your image of the um, of the products. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, uh, it reflects exactly your promise. What do you bring to the table for the customer? Okay, and number four, let's go over number four. Let me see who can help me with that. Ezekiel, can you help me with that? Number four, please. Is it still here, Daniel Ezekiel, yeah. or no? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, sir. Your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. You think yes or no? Hmm. Okay, thank you. No. Well, no. who has an opinion about this? Your brand reflects the values, reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. Los valores, the values. Yeah. Why? Yes. Why, Julio? Why? Why? Well, yes, is is very necessary in uh, the product. It reflects the values. The values. The value. The values. Yes, the, the value. The the customer ex 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 requests. Requests. Yes. Okay, very well, very well. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, it says choose a famous national product or service and design a basic checklist. You're gonna do this activity right now, okay? Uh, choose a famous national product, national product or service and design a, a basic checklist to evaluate its branding. You know what? This is going to be your homework for tomorrow, okay? Activity seven. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it on the WhatsApp chat so you don't forget. Just copy paste. This is going to be for tomorrow. Homework for tomorrow. Let me put it on the WhatsApp chat just in case. Homework. Do you understand the homework? Or no? You're going to choose a famous national product, like, for example, what? Tell me an example of a national product or service. Uh. A bad product, maybe <laughs> la pupusa. Okay. You know, Mr. Angel? <laughs> oh, yes. It's very important to have a um, quality product or quality ingredient do you want to, do you want to use when you make a pupusa? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of variety. There's a lot of variety nowadays when it comes about that. Okay, very well. So I chatted you the homework and I'm gonna chat it also here at Zoom chat so we can get evidence in pairs. No, this is gonna be individual, it's individual. Choose a famous product or service and design a basic checklist to evaluate its brand and strategy. Uh, the checklist doesn't have to be big. You can have only three or five items. That's okay. Do you have any question about the homework? No, right? So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, let me check something here on my side. And Let's see, open another link, open another window. Okay, 
Give me one second. I'm finding some additional material for you. Yeah. Okay, so somebody works with social media in the class. Do you know who? Somebody works in social media. So this video I'm gonna show you is about social media. Uh, we're going to we're going to watch this video that only lasts a few minutes. Let me see. It only lasts um, two minutes. It only lasts two minutes. So let me share it. I want you to watch the video and then we will discuss. Watch the video and then we will discuss. It's just two minutes. Let's go.
Hello, hello, welcome back. I hope you have watched the video and um, you're going to share your opinion. It, what, why, or, or what kind of impact is it causing? How different is the world now within companies based on what you saw on the video? Do I have a volunteer? Well, I think it, um, the the world has changed, and and it's necessary to use the tool that we have in our hands, such as uh, social networks, Instagram, and Facebook, and for many people that doesn't like so much the technology, like me, <laughs> it is important to use it. For, for example, there are service or business that has begin with, has begin, begun? Has with, begun. Uh -huh. Has begun with, with this little change and ha they has increased their sales. They have increased. They have increased their sales. Yes. So for that, it's important to use that. That tools. That's true. That's true. Do you think there is a before and an after uh, when social media came up uh, as far as one department in your company that is called marketing? This department called marketing is in charge of promoting the company's services and, and products. But when social media came, eh, marketing also had to update. What's your analysis? Who has an opinion? I think it has to be an mix of all of things mm -hmm. it's important that in them the market uh, use their their uh, abilities yes, they have their skills also using the social media yeah and i think that um, when it's a new challenge for this department because they have to be like um to know how to use it in the correct way because if you say something that it's wrong it's like um most of the people are like pendiente yeah tune tune mm -hmm. about the things so first you it's a it's very useful but at the same time it has a big responsibility so but I think that is um, good because you can um, has, have more um, customers. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that. Yeah, actually, you are able to connect with a lot more customers than before. So it's 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 a it's a huge impact what they cause. And now uh, this has created even more job opportunities uh, because uh, when there was only marketing, you had the marketing team and that's it. But now the social media, so they need one more person in charge of social media and one more person to be chatting and answering questions on social media. So, so that generates uh, employment. Yeah, and other thing is that uh, you can um, choose to work at home. It, I think that you can choose to work at home or in the site. So I think that it has have a good opportunities for everyone. Actually, yes, yes. And how fun could it be, huh? Working in that place, talking, interacting with so many um, personalities, different type of personalities, people that are interested, people that are just hanging out. I don't know. There's a lot to learn over there. 
there's a lot to learn. Uh, but definitely the uh, social media, Facebook and all of that, uh, it has changed not only our lives, but the companies, the way we do business. Uh, people even make sales. People use Facebook to, to, to sell products and to promote their service. So, man, it's, it's a great way of expanding your business as well, huh? It's a good way to, to expand your business. If your company doesn't have connection or doesn't have social media, you're, you're missing a lot of market. Now you have to have Facebook, you have to have Twitter, you have to have WhatsApp, so you can get in touch with that people, with the hungry people. What's your opinion, Luis Galicia? Hello. Uh... Yes, and social media is a good choice to, to promote products and brands and companies. And the social media connect people very fast and connect products to the client. And um, the communication is uh, uh, very uh, is easily than other uh, channels to, mm -hmm. to connect people. The communication is an instant instant the same instant that uh, you see the product you see you, you see uh, the offers in the websites and uh, uh, connect a instant moment and uh, you can buy uh, something that, that you can see in pictures and videos and how to use how to how to get them uh, but uh, the social media can be maybe bad to to someone uh, because uh, maybe you can see bad promotions or fake uh, fake notice uh, to to the people and uh, and and pay pay products that uh, that uh, it doesn't have maybe and and, and and so it's um, very difficult to 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 get um, sometimes uh, companies um, under uh, maybe supervising uh, or another kind of controls or security inside the, the, the websites is uh, all of that. Amazing, yeah. It's a lot. There's a lot of a lot to talk about. I appreciate your thoughts. I appreciate your participation tonight. Let me go ahead and call the attendance the last time, guys, so we can close it. Hopefully, I don't forget it like last time that I forgot. <laughs> but here we go with the attendance. Lady Carolina Ventura de Valdez, you still with us? Yes, teacher, I'm here. All right, Angel Antonio Benitez Ventura. Hello? Oh, oh, I'm here. You still uh, here? So Perfect. I think the social media is a uh, was a, a impact in the marketing around the world when the what nowadays is have a a very big impact because uh, all of company uh, use a uh, social media or for sell something for maybe for increase the the different product if, for example in my company when i where i work uh use a lot of social media mm -hmm. for example i have the a song area that is just for social media it's a department social media department is mm -hmm. for sell a uh, promote a different product a new product and also you can uh, have a a big impact sometimes uh, because for example for black friday is very now the this department have a lot of work but sometimes have uh, some deficit because mm -hmm. uh, some people uh, always can use uh, can't use or couldn't use the the social media sometimes because well my company is for Costa Rica in Costa Rica there are a lot of people that can use um, social media because it's not a 
I don't know how do you say that, but it's, there are a lot of people that can use can't use a uh, social media, and it's difficult. I we need to improve sometimes, or maybe. But my company to implement a uh, some maybe some um, I don't know how do you say capacitaciones trainings. Uh, yes, some training to some provincias of Costa Rica to maybe a meeting, meeting of some people and try to explain how, we, how to use the social media and how to buy some product, how to ask us with uh, the company. I think it's very important, but in the pen of the country, uh, have uh, some deficit sometimes. Yeah, I appreciate your comment, um, Angel, right? Great yes. job. Thank you for all your participation, people. I appreciate it. Let me just call out the call out the attendance. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez, are you there? Carmen Eugenia Tremino Reyes. Present, teacher. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present is Caleb. Daniel, Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present. Thank you. Estela Mabel Orellana Andino. Present teacher. Jacqueline Yesenia Miranda Rodríguez. Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortés. Present. Thank you. Jose Mario Valdez Gómez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jose René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Julio Cesar Merino González. Present. Catherine Lisette Cáceres Montesino. Present, Mr. Thank you, Catherine. Kathy Denise Soriano Villacorta. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Thanks, Kenny. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present, teacher. Osmin Alexis Flores Hernández. Sabrina Lisette Garcia Oriana. Present. Marielos Janet Cornejo Arazo. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. And present. Thank you, sir. And Christian Luis Lopez Perez. Okay, guys, I appreciate your time. I'm not going to take more time from you. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. All right? See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 God bless you, everyone. God bless. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Uh, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Kenny. Bye-bye. Good rest. <laughs>